nice, nice little introduction. You okay, girls? But my name is Farah. Firstly, who knows my position? Go on. Midfielder. Midfield. Hands up if you're a midfielder. Oh my God, we've got lots of midfielders. Brilliant. Who's the defenders then? We've got any strikers, scorers? Or just the two of you? Oh, three midfield and striker. Okay, so we're ready to do some drills? Yes! Right, let's go. Nervy when you meet teams for the first time and, you know, young girls uh, and probably their expectation of me is a little bit higher than, uh, <laughs> than I can deliver. But look, it's exciting. I love coaching. Uh, I've coached at all levels, you know, the younger ones I did years ago. So it's nice to go back again and, and coach some of the real young ones. Off you go. Lots and lots of touches. Fast as we can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Off you go. I think the girls were really excited to have Farah come along. Uh, it's not every day you get someone of her stature, um, like mo most capped England player ever, you know, come along to, to meet the, the players and for them, some of them just started playing. So that could be the one switch that keeps them playing for a long time and I, I think they were just absolutely buzzing. What's number five? Yeah, I like that drag back. What's your name? Amelia, what a drag back that was. Beautiful turn. Who can show me a different turn? Nice, number seven, what's your name? Rose, no, God. Rose, I knew it was Rose, I just said that. Good turn. Off we go. It's important to me, you know, some of the young girls teams that are out there at grassroots. I think that they're the foundations of our game and that's where we've got to grow it from. So it's the real bottom of the, of, of the pyramid and it's good for, you know, not only myself, but lionesses and female coaches to get out there and, and really encourage them to stay in the game. And it's, it's the start of their journey. So it's really nice to come and do it. Oh, you've got to check your shoulders. Brilliant, what's your name? Matilda, quickly tell me what you did really well there. Um, what do you think you did really, really well? So who did you use, your team? Your, yeah, you used teamwork, brilliant, brilliant. Emma's a really nice coach because um, it's really, really grateful that she's brought Farah here so we can see her face to face. It was really fun to have Farah training yesterday. I was kind of nervous to meet her, but it turns out she's really nice and she's a really good coach. Yeah, I thought the girls' team, I thought, look, they were very enthusiastic today. Uh, really keen learners. They give efforts, they were listening, which I heard they don't do too often. So it's nice when you come along, you know, for a one-off session with a girls' team. It, it, it's nice to see that they're engaged. You see when you're at the back here and you've got the ball, what have you got in front of you as a defender? Lots of what? Um, space. Yeah, and you just did it there. You had lots of space and you ended up up here. This is the first time I've seen you up here. So you're really, really good at doing what? What have you just showed me that you're good at? Yeah, you're good at dribbling. If somebody puts you under pressure, what might you do? Yeah, but if no one puts you under pressure, I want to show you to show me you're good dribbling, okay? Because you've just shown me you can do it, okay? Okay, girls, in we come. In we come, last one in, don't be last, don't be last, leave the ball. Brilliant. So I just want to say well done for today. But whilst I've got a few minutes before I disappear, I want to see if there's any question from you guys that you want to ask me before I disappear. Let's go. What was your toughest match you played? Toughest match? Ooh, good question. Um, you know what? The toughest match was a friendly that I played for England when I was 17. I played in a friendly against Sweden and I used to think I was really, really good. And then I come on and played against Sweden and I realised I wasn't very, very good and I needed to get better. And so it made me think that I have to go and train harder so that I can be better than I was before I went into that game. How old are you when you start playing and why did you start playing? How old was I? For a team, I started playing for a team when I was 12. Um, I started playing football when I was really young in primary school. And I started playing because my brothers played, my uncles, aunties, sister. And so we all used to play together as a family. It's been a massive impact, the fact Farah's come along today. I think just to have someone that they can look up to um, is really inspiring. And you can just see how excited they all are. And this is like a core cool memory that they'll always remember. So yeah, it's, it's an amazing, amazing experience. When they're very young, you know, there tends to be a lot of interest. And it's as they get older into their teenage years, where in the female game, we tend to lose a lot of players. They have to make choices about where they want to go. And, I think it's important that we try and, you know, for, for us as coaches, keep them in the game for as long as we can. And look, some will go on and do great things. Some will still play grassroots forever, as in, you know, amateur football. But there might be one or two that come out of here and, and we'll see them in a WSL or maybe in an English shirt one day.